Hi guys, welcome back to more Dark Souls 2. And to me trying to figure out what I was doing the last time. I beat the Skeleton Lords, if I remember right, and... Oh. <laughs> no. you do have the time. I was wondering... Which path I was going to take next. And I'm thinking... up again with Luca Teal. I think what I'll do is I will go through Harvest Valley after all, so what I'll do... Right. I am going to level up. Now, I was leveling my intelligence and my adaptability, which is... My adaptability is doing quite okay, actually. I don't want to adapt level the adaptability right now. And my health is at a nice amount some more attunement for the cast speed and the extra agility that it does give. Well, let's go for one more in attunement and one more in intelligence. Okay. So we got some nice spells and shit. So, I'll go through Harvest Valley. Harvest Valley is a bitch. You'll see what I mean. It's... It's a painful place to go through. Not as bad as the next area over, which I will be skipping for a while. Why is this one glowing? Is it because it's been... Oh, it's mine. That's why. Skeleton ahead and short. <laughs> Arrive skeleton. Okay. That's why it was glowing. Poor soul ahead. No, it's listen carefully, skeleton. Okay, I want to snipe this thing first. for that to get closer. Okay, we're good. Take out our sword. For reasons of skeleton. Like that. My cat is, an, is uh, attacking the blinds behind me. You might be able to hear that in the recording. Maybe I should go smack him. Shut up. Fucking annoying git. Of course, I don't mean literally smack him, but... Hit it, you dick. It's really annoying that I can't hit an enemy like that. Okay, so... Alright, continuing. I moved to the cat. He is an asshole. Let's get out of the poison and fight up here. Most of these skeletons don't reanimate. Ah, we're poisoned after all. Fuck it. Oh, heal. That was a close call. Let's wait for this one to get closer. This one's a toughie. That one took a lot of hits. Okay. This is, uh... One of the reasons why we buy so many life gems. Because you can't negate all the poison all the time. So your best shot... ...is to just heal through it. It's still colossal pain. Oh yay, Myrta's out of the bath. 
She still looks like shit. And the reason why I say that is because she's ill. She probably has an infection that's giving her a headache and making her feel bad. Could also be because she's a woman. That's, you know, hormones and stuff. Okay. That ambush didn't work out very well. Get this branch. Gavelin's here. Yep. And I can sell some things. I'm going to get rid of one of the mail breakers. One of the morning stars. Get rid of a well really? Got that many short bows? Get rid of those. Do I have any other duplicates of anything? Anything that I don't want? Apparently not. Okay. No. Open chest. Yay for raw stone. Useful for if you're a low statted character. We're gonna get poisoned really fast here. Not a fan of this zone, just for that. It's poison everywhere. It shouldn't be called Harvest Valley, it should be called Poison Valley. I'm not trying to be funny, it should be called that. Okay. Grab this. Let's make our way up, get a bit of a vantage point. For what, you may ask? Well, for this. All those, uh attacks that are coming my way. I want to do something about those. First, you. This is typically better with a short bow or a long bow. Do I have one? I forgetted. This should be faster if I switch to a bow. See what I mean? There. And now I can unequip that. And just progress with my short sword. Just kill these for the souls. I want to drop down there and grab that item. Ugh. Oh, you fucking dick. Oh, does curb. Nice. Come on. Alright, now this area here is going to be a bitch. Because there's three crystal lizards I want to kill. And they're going to make the job hard for me. Which is what they always do. I don't know if I'm going to bother killing them all. Maybe I'll just kill a couple. Maybe I will kill them all. At any rate, they'll respawn now. Miss. Sadly, they are really hard to hit. This is easily the best thing for here would be to use a 200 weapon like a great club or a large club or something and just go clunk. Because when you use a little sword like this, you will find more often that your character doesn't strike down. So they will miss near every attack. Like that. I clearly touched it, and yet I did no damage. That time I got it. Okay, this time I'll just... I'll leave the other one. 
It's not it's not that important. Don't wanna aggro that enemy up there just yet. I want what's through there though. Let's see, can I hit you? Yes, I can. Let's do some quick casts. Wow, this is really great that they're all just bugging out on each other. Good. And the other ones actually went round that they're full cycles, so I have time. Gotta say, this area has never gone that well for me. They all bugged out, they couldn't get to me, and I just spammed magic. Usually this area is harder. So there isn't much left here. There's a few items to pick up, then there's a little bit of a walk. We can then join the Sunlight Covenant, and shortly after that is a boss. Quite an easy boss, really. A lot of people struggle on it, just for the fact that sometimes its movement can be kind of erratic and catch people off guard. But I don't think we'll have any trouble with it. Probably jinxed myself now, but still. Okay, so we're just gonna run. You can get that creature behind that um, wall to come out. Not much point. You don't have to. Good, good. Beautiful. Nice and quick. There's an item there. The one in... There's a caster up there on that balcony that's throwing down fireballs. And... This thing is kind of built into like a mountain. You can see it over here. But you can see the back of the mountain and it kind of extends out there. You can sort of make it out over here. And it's like a big castle that's set far back into a mountain. It's more of a volcano really. And you'll get to see it. People get driven crazy by the fact that you come out of a volcano in the next zone. They go, it doesn't make any sense. Well, I just pointed it out to you. I mean, yeah, it would be one hell of a fucking logistics issue to build something into a volcano, but... I'm probably going to get killed by the next volley of attacks. Because if you get hit by all of those fireballs at once, you die. Back up. Let's drink one of these. Now we should be able to hit you from here. Wow, I was going to say you wouldn't be able to hit us from there. I was clearly wrong. Wasted a lot of my casts. Let's restore some of my spell uses. That's getting dangerously close. Just missed his head. Come on. Want you to come to me. You are not very vulnerable to magic, are you? Not 
vulnerable to much, actually. Back up. Okay, I'm gonna go down there and start looting. One of the things we'll get is a large katana called the washing bowl. Ooh, a titanite slab. Lovely. Shard. Chameleon. The washing bowl. And dragon charm. Lovely. Good. So we've pretty much eaten everything in the area. It's funny, I'm seeing more players in this game than in Dark Souls 1 and 3 combined. So much for this game being the black sheep of the series, I suppose. Okay. Here's the sunlight covenant. Heirs of the Sun. And we can learn the gesture. There we go. Lovely. And now, as long as we're in this covenant helping other players, we'll give us uh, sunlight medals. So it's the co-op covenant. Which is great. Oh, and jolly cooperation. <clears throat> Well, I rarely ever clear my throat during playthroughs, but just really had to there. This guy will mostly die of poison. Fuck me. Wanted to speed it up. I do think I just got some extra souls from something else. You can hear those dark creatures. But honestly, I'm going to call them dark mantles. Like in D&D and Pathfinder. Because they're very much like them. Tales here. So what I'm gonna do is do the story thing where I listen to her talk and transition into gameplay again. Still on the road. Sorry to have burdened you so. This is for you. By way of an apology. I found my thoughts growing hazy. My memories are fading. Oldest first. The curse is doing its work upon me. I am frightened. Terribly so. If everything should fade, what will be left of me? I had an older brother. We learned to fence together. He became the most decorated swordsman in all of Mirror. I never even compared to him. In fact, I never beat him. Not once. But then, one day, he was gone. Lost without a trace. Now I'm certain that he was taken by the curse. If only someone would hear my tale. My brother must have come here, too. Soon I may forget even about him. And this is why I hate these enemies, because they pretty much one-shot kill you. Alright, this time I'm just gonna run through and kill that thing rapidly. 
Yeah. I, I've killed this thing. Everything went great. I'm just debating with myself whether or not to go down there and get the items that's in there. I mean, they're okay. They're not really required. Yeah, fuck it. I can't exactly remember what was in there. All I remember was being disappointed the last time I tried. I want to just make this a little bit quicker. Do I have... Yeah, something like this. This will do. Okay, here we are. Cover this demon. Come on, I want you to... Do that. How did that hit me? You didn't touch me at all. Now you might tail whip me. Okay, there we go. Let's start attacking the tail a bit. Yeah, it's usually two hits. Run away. Continue to run away. That's a first. Never seen you do that before. Usually he would just continue to roll over and it would do massive damage. Oh well, that's the covetous demon down, and the loot that it gives is kind of wank. But, let's see, what was its uh, boss soul thing? Eating is an expression of desire. There was once a man whose deep affections were unrequited. He transformed into the covetous demon, which only made him lonelier than before. Ah, Poor guy. Shouldn't have eaten so much. That's why you got fat. Or curvy, or whatever you would say. Hit. <laughs>